I'm confused. It seems like there are so many different bills and proposals on the table right now talking about raising SSI benefits, raising Social Security, stimulus check number four, monthly stimulus checks, infrastructure packages, reforming Medicare. I'm so confused. What is all of this? Well, hey, don't worry. I got you. In this video, let's talk about all of these different proposals and what is actually on the table right now. There's a lot going on. Let's talk about it. But hey everybody, welcome and thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't done so already or if you happen to be new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as it is totally free to do so and I am your one and only daily advocate as I am back every single day to keep you updated and to do whatever I possibly can to help you out through this time. Let's get into it. You know what? It's kind of interesting. As I was writing my notes for this video, I thought, you know what? I feel like the guy standing next to the big wheel that spins around the ping pong balls for the lottery draw while we're all sitting here watching our tickets. Ah, what's it gonna be? And then all of a sudden the ball comes down. It's number 52. Do we have any winners? I feel like all the balls floating around in that little wheel are like all the proposals and the bill. Which one's it gonna be next, right? So let's break it all down. Let's quickly run through all of these different proposals that are on the table right now. There are so many different things. Now, just to be totally clear, I'm not gonna hit on everything because there's way too many. I mean, this would be a half an hour long video just talking about the proposals. I'm not gonna get into too much detail either. I will briefly kind of run over the proposals and then we can keep moving on because there's really a lot of them and we just kind of wanna briefly hit on what's going on right now because some people are reaching out to me saying, hey, I'm super confused. Like, are we getting it? Are we not? When's it gonna be? How much is it gonna be? Who's it gonna include? So don't worry, let's walk through this. So number one, there are some proposals on the table right now to increase SSI benefits and Social Security benefits. The first proposal was uh, released a couple weeks ago talking about raising SSI benefits, Supplemental Security Income benefits, to 100% of the federal poverty level. Now, that is the proposal. It is still on the table at this point. It has not been passed, but that's what they're talking about. So if they actually raised SSI benefits to 100% of the federal poverty level, that would bring benefits up to roughly $1,073 per month, as the federal poverty level is about um, $1,073 a month or $12,880 for the year. The second thing that's on the table as far as increasing Social Security benefits, President Biden has been out making statements saying he wants to raise or increase Social Security benefits to 125% of the federal poverty level. Okay, sounds cool, right? So what is 125% of the federal poverty level? Well, 12,880 is the federal poverty level based on what I searched online. Well, 125% of that would be $16,100. If we divide that out on a monthly basis, it's $1,341. Not bad, okay. But that's about all we know as of now. It's At this point, it's still just talk. We need to get it in paper. We need to get it in writing and start working our way through this thing. So that's what we have on the table right now for kind of like Social Security and SSI benefits. What about stimulus checks? Yup, <laughs> once again, we have a couple more proposals on the table for stimulus check number four and recurring monthly stimulus checks. Let's run through them. So proposal number one offers a one-time $2,000 stimulus check plus a $1,000 stimulus check thereafter monthly for the next 12 months going forward. Not bad, once again, right? The next proposal on the table, a $2,000 stimulus check plus $2,000 stimulus checks thereafter monthly for a minimum of six months. Now I've seen a few different things out about this proposal. I've seen some language saying six months on the $2,000 recurring, and I've seen some uh, language saying 12 months on the $2,000 recurring. Either way, it sounds like a minimum of six months on the 2,000. Now again, can all of that be amended, changed? Can all of that be uh, negotiated? Yeah, of course. It goes for all of it. The SSI raise, the social security reform, the, uh, the stimulus check, you know, the fourth stimulus check, the recurring monthly stimulus checks. All of this can be negotiated and changed. So, but this is just what's on the table right now. What else do we have cooking? Well, we also have the infrastructure packages. We've heard a lot about these lately, right? 
So we have the first one, the American Jobs Plan. This is the one that's strictly focused on infrastructure. This is the one that was released about a month ago. It's about $2.3 trillion, and it's focused on roads, bridges, airports, transportation, water, you know, things like that. Nothing really too exciting. But either way, that's what's in there on that. And then second, we have the second portion of the infrastructure package, the American Families Plan. Now this one, it's called infrastructure, but let's be real. It's not infrastructure. It is social programs and it's focused on, it's basically a stimulus package, but they're calling it infrastructure. It's not infrastructure. It's talking about people and social programs. So it has in there, what does it have? Well, it has paid family leave, that's in there. There's uh, money in there for community college tuition. There's money in there for expanding uh, P uh, Pell Grants. There's all kinds of stuff in this um, social program or the American Families Plan, including pushing out the child tax credit until 2025. Again, that should be coming here in the next couple months. For those of you with kids, you should be starting to get monthly payments on a monthly basis per child going forward. If you want more information on that, scroll back in my videos. I have a view, few videos dedicated to talking about the child tax credit. It could be worth anywhere between $250 and $300 per month per child for the rest of the year starting in July. Not bad once again, right? So what are some other things floating around? Like I said, there are so many different proposals and bills and things floating around right now. Talk about all of this. Well, there's also talk about reforming Medicare, right? They want to add dental, hearing, and vision into Medicare, lower the eligibility age on Medicare, and also start negotiating prescription prices. I mean, massive stuff, right? I mean, this is going to take a ton of work to get all of this stuff pushed through. Now, what can we expect over the coming days, weeks, and months? Well, Honestly, <laughs> good question. You got me there. <laughs> I mean, seriously. No, but let's talk through it. So what can we talk about or what can we expect? Well, there's going to be a lot of negotiating and talking about these infrastructure packages. These are the big, the head honchos, the behemoths, the colossal, the massive packages. You get what I'm saying, right? So these are the big ones that they really want to focus on right now. It's a matter of how much of this stuff can they really jam into these packages and push them through. Now, the first infrastructure package, the one that we talked about talking about infrastructure, that could be pushed through as it currently is and it's in its original state with budget reconciliation. Or they may take a separate approach, lower the, the, the dollar amount on the thing, the cost of the bill, and push it through with bipartisan support and come back and kind of revisit that thing at some point in the future. Or they could combine the two infrastructure packages as one big package and push it on through with budget reconciliation. If they use budget reconciliation, they are restricted to what they can actually push through with that. For example, they, from what I've found, it looks like they cannot reform social security with budget reconciliation. So unfortunately, they would need to come back and tackle that one with its own separate bill. Well, we talked about that earlier, right? Talking about reforming social security in its own separate bill later in the year, as some experts are saying. Well, we don't really know about that. We'll have to continue watching. We'll have to see what happens. And are these people really experts? I don't know. Seriously, they just call themselves experts. I'm not an expert, but I don't call myself an expert either, so you never know. But anyway, <laughs> uh, but anyway, so it's going to be really busy. In fact, Nancy Pelosi was out and said that she wanted this infrastructure package done or passed or at least voted on or something like that by July 4th. Well, that's like two months. Seriously, that's not that long from now. So... They have a lot ahead of them right now. There's a lot of negotiating to do, and it's just a matter of really, how do they plan on passing this? If they want bipartisan support, well, then there's gonna be a lot more time negotiating. If they just wanna push it through with budget reconciliation, they're gonna be limited on what they can add into it, and it'll probably be more quick. I mean, they'll be able to push it through more quickly simply because they won't need to go back and forth in negotiating. It's basically just, hey, pile it on the cart, let's push it through. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. So anyway, I hope this helps you. And again, I said, I'm not going to hit on all these different proposals. There are so many different proposals right now. Seriously, this is just a handful of them. But we've talked about many of these in greater details in separate videos. But I've seen a lot of comments saying, hey, I'm just like to straight up confused right now. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Like, 
who am I? Where am I right now? Hello, what day of the week is it? You know what I mean? So you're not alone, seriously. There's a lot of people out there that are feeling confused with everything going on. So I hope this video broke it down and let you know what's at, what's on the table right now and kind of what we're looking at. Either way, it's going to be another busy year with things going on. Remember 2020 last year? That was a really busy year. It seemed like every other week we were getting different proposals on the table right you know, every other week, different proposals for stimulus packages, stimulus checks, all kinds of different things. Well, then we kind of milked out the entire year, just kind of going back and forth, kind of basically arguing about different stuff. Remember that? What a mess. But either way, it's probably going to be the exact same thing this year. Let's be real. So we'll have to see what happens, but hopefully they can actually get something done a little bit more quickly and get the relief out to the people who actually need it basically everybody here, right? So either way, I will keep you posted, which is why I said, make sure you're subscribed if you haven't done so already, or please feel free to share this video with your friends, family, social media, and check out any of my over 1,000 videos right here on the channel, as you should probably find some dedicated information to all these topics that we've talked about in my previous videos. So feel free to check those out if you'd like. Otherwise, I will keep you updated with everything going on. I hope you're doing well, and thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it, and I'm here for you every single day, like I said, as your daily advocate, because I truly just want to help you out in any way that I can throughout this time. Thanks again. You're awesome, and I'll catch you in the next